So when not to take a trade when it looks like a trade. So here's a good example of when not to take a trade when it looks like a trade. Or maybe it's, you know, wait for a different uh, different entry. So here we go. We have our, um, our, our switch to the long. We're in the long trade right here. And then we have our switch to the short side, right? Green to red. And then uh, we got permission to short. But why did this switch to the short side? So we have this massive tower candle here indicated by the marker inside the candle and all, like halfway inside the candle, huge tower candle. So we know these like to retrace. So in the retracement of this tower candle, it switches to the short side, but we're expecting a retracement. And a lot of times these retrace before going higher. So because this switches to the short on a retracement of a tower candle, I have to ask myself, is this just a retracement? Are we going to have a full retracement of this tower candle or half like we did here? And then it's going to rally higher or will this actually break low of day and break down? So that's an unknown answer. And because I don't know the answer to that question, I don't want to take this trade. So I would not take this because we do know tower candles retrace half or all a lot of the times. And if the switch happens as a result of a retracement of a tower candle, then chances are we're going to be, have a losing trade because it's just going to continue going the same direction the tower candle was, was trading. I also don't trade a lot of times the tower candle unless I have a retracement like this. And then I'll get in. So like here we have a switch to the long side. We don't have permission. But if we did have permission, I, a lot of times I'll wait for a retracement of that tower candle before getting in long and maximizing my profits and minimizing my loss. So um, something to think about when not to take the trade, even though it looks like a trade.